Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to begin by thanking, by thanking the board and specifically the members of the uh, planning committee for this event, for helping us all to gather today for WEC's first go at a virtual annual meeting. Uh, hats off to Allison, to Steve, to Dawn, to Naomi, uh, to our new deputy director, Julia, and to Kate. And special kudos to Josh, who kept us all singing from the same hymnal and rowing in the same direction. Uh, I apologize for that mixed uh, metaphor. Uh, <laughs> 23 days until we can all say goodbye to 2020, the plague year, the year of uprisings, the year of fires, the year of drought, the year of political upheaval, the year when bills came due, the year of change, upheaval, chaos, and yes, of revelation and of awakening. The year 2020 has opposed, uh, exposed the fissures, fractures, and inadequacies in every sector of American society. And these revelations have seeded an awakening. The belief that we absolutely must work to reimagine a new and better system, new policies, new approaches, and yes, new attitudes that can work for all people. And at the heart of that reimagination, there are some things on which we critically need to focus. As you know, I always look at things through the lens and vantage point of education. And from my vantage point at the Worcester Education Collaborative, as we and, a, and as a community and a district reimagine how we accomplish teaching and learning, we must be guided in that work by the centering of the child and their needs and gifts along the lines and principles of equity. The seeds for this type of reimagination are taking root in Worcester. As we respond to the multiple bills that have come due, we have come together in a shared response. Witness the Worcester Together Fund, the Black Lives Matter mural, the Worcester Mutual Aid Facebook page, and in the education ecosystem, the emergence of the Worcester Education Equity Roundtable. For WEC, the work of reimagination is not new work. We have always held as our North Star, not what is merely acceptable for our children, but what is possible. Tonight, we will consider what can be accomplished through the interplay of education and technology. Our work, however, goes beyond that to seek what is possible when the community is fully behind our kids and our schools, and when our schools are fully allied with our community. In March of this year, WEC began its 11th year of operation. While our work with the schools and communities have borne fruit, a strategic plan, a strong literacy program in seven of our schools and an ongoing series of community briefings, a community of practice for the education ecosystem, a social and emotional learning training program, our work is ongoing. Thanks to all of you, to our financial supporters and to those who offer their time and expertise to assure that this important work is accomplished. Tonight, both special and heartfelt thanks are due to Patty Eppinger. Patty has served as our resolute and unflappable board chair since 2015. Smart, visionary, politically savvy, and yes, fearless, she has guided WEC to maturity. She is a good friend and a professional support and patient beyond words. She saved me multiple times from fleeing onto Main Street to shout at randomly passing cars. Patty will be stepping down this year, but she will remain on the board in a new role. We are looking forward to continue to work with her. Patty, many, many thanks. And let's have a virtual round of applause for this wonderful woman. 